dollars for the first 42 presidents. Number 43 added four trillion dollars by his lonesome, so that we now have over nine trillion dollars of debt that that we are going to have to pay back. Thirty thousand dollars for every man, woman, and child. That's irresponsible. It's unpatriotic. So there you've got uh, then-Senator Barack Obama calling George Bush unpatriotic for running up the national debt by $4 trillion over eight years, whereas Barack Obama has run up $4 trillion in three years. Right. We're not going to negotiate around the debt ceiling. The bottom line is... Either you're having good faith negotiations in which there's good give and take, or you're not. We're not going to negotiate around the debt ceiling. We're not going to negotiate. My last question. Yeah. Uh, my last question. I have more questions. I just need this question. We're not going to negotiate around the debt ceiling. Just now, I spoke on the phone with President Rouhani of the Islamic Republic of Iran. The two of us discussed our ongoing efforts to reach an agreement over Iran's nuclear program. We're not going to negotiate around the debt ceiling. Jay, you're saying that you don't know, obviously, whether or not Iran will follow through on their promises, but the president did call the new president on Friday mm -hmm. uh, of Iran and sort of opened up diplomatic negotiations. So why not do the same with the House Republicans? You're at loggerheads. Call them. We're not going to negotiate around the debt ceiling. What steps will the Obama administration take to address the federal government's deficit and debt? What specific tax measures and or program changes will you recommend to Congress? This has been the fiscally most irresponsible administration that we have seen. I mean, we, we have increased the national debt uh, almost doubled it since George Bush took office. It is now over nine trillion dollars. Uh, and that is money that we're all going to have to pay back. So we are using our resources uh, in a way that's, uh, that's not sound. Second principle is a very simple principle called PAYGO. If you want to cut taxes, you've got to cut spending. If you want to raise spending, you've got to raise revenue so that you have honest accounting. Uh, right now, the federal budget is not honest. And unless we have good numbers, we can't end up uh, dealing with this budget issue. Now, the biggest problem we have in terms of our budget, though, long term, uh, but the, the last thing I was going to mention, and this is the, probably the biggest problem we have with the federal budget, is uh, health care spending, Medicare and Medicaid. That's the big budget buster. That's the scary thing out there uh, that will be like the blob. It will just consume everything, unless we do something about it now. And unsustainable. That will probably be the biggest savings item for our federal budget. Uh, if we do it right, and uh, people... We're not going to negotiate around the debt ceiling. 